We got a couple of bambobolinis here. Hey. Who don't want us to do anything other than entertain them. They don't want me and mom to do any work today, clearly. More specifically, Hudson. What are you doing, Bambi? Hmm? What are you doing? What are you doing, Bambi? What are you doing, Bambi? Grown here. Looks like someone. Looks like a doobie play. It's not though. Crazy. I didn't play Hey, babe. Can you help judge a weed the garden? Ooh. Yeah. accidentally uprooted these um, really nice onions so you know this is a shady garden uh, but these come back came back after last year and uh, seem to do really well in the shade so we intend on planting more onions here so uh, we can replant these You did a great job here, huh? Thanks. You know what? You can grab both of them even. Just try to grab them. Like, no, that's enough. One for one day. Okay? That's enough. Oh, North, you made North a nice cool bed. Look at that. Look at that. North, you're the star of the show, bud. I thought you said it wasn't counting. Yeah. Can you just want me to turn it up? Yeah. Come on, North. Come on. Come on. Come on, no. North, no. This isn't your play, play pad. This here is some uh, 
hardwood ash from our fireplace. So we heat with wood in the winter and you gotta pull the ash out every couple days when it builds up. So we're just gonna mix that it. Like, you think we should put it in the top bed? Yeah. Well, we're doing cucumbers on the top porch this year, so. Cucumbers and zucchini are up there. So, yeah, yeah so we don't need these down here. So we tied ropes, which made an awesome trellis for cucumbers. Um, last season or the season before, but we'll make some other use out of these things, maybe for a tripod over the fire or something. Yeah, they worked out well. Yeah. They served their purpose. I was thinking, should we do mulch in between these beds so that it doesn't oh, over yeah. grow with weeds, you know? Kids are happy. Mom and dad are happy. Huddy has been moved to a playpen. Hey, bud. Hey. And there's blocking the sun. He seems to be offering North some intermittent cookies. Mm. Here you go, bud. Get it in you. Huh? The Wesley out here keeping watch. And, uh,. We have the thermocell the EX90 here, keeping the bugs away from us all. Ready? Just lift. One, two, wait. happy uh, the compost there you can really see much darker much darker of a color this is and also raise the uh, layer of soil up in the uh, in the bed more too which will give the roots more um, good soil before it gets down deep into the, uh, the um, uh, native soil well, we got a bit of a storm blowing in, but we think it's going to blow over. Um, so, we decided that we're not going to plant today. We're going to give this a good soak and uh, let the um, let everything settle because we're planting mostly uh, from seed in this garden. So, we're going to put the sprinkler on it and soak it, let it settle, and we'll come back tomorrow uh, and seed. Everybody's happy. Kids are happy. Mom and dad are happy. Well, we are putting some plants in the ground. I should go get um, the seeds. So we've got hopefully shade plants, but we've got broccoli and cabbage. 
Um, this is a cauliflower that we purchased, uh, although it really needs water, so hopefully it's not too far gone. Romaine lettuce and uh, I believe that's celery. Oh, and then tomatoes. Those need to go upstairs though. So the potatoes we're going to be planting from um, potatoes. So we just kind of looked it up and you need to plant the little eyes so that they grow up. But um, you can plant them in rows. So we're just going to dig like trenches basically. Plant them so that the eyes uh, are up. Um, these are small so we'll probably just plant them whole but you can plant them, you can cut them if there's more than one eye on them. So if you have, you know, a little grouping of eyes here and grouping of eyes here, you can cut them in half, plant them, um, but we'll just plant them whole because they're pretty small already. Um, so we're going to give that a try, see what happens. They take apparently about a hundred days uh, to, what is it? To mature. Yeah, so they take about a hundred days to mature, so hopefully we're not waiting too late because typically people start them a little bit earlier in the season, but, you know, such is life. Uh, eight, eight to twelve. So, like, who knows how well this is going to do, you know? Well, well I, mean, uh, I never know if it's bad. Uh, Is that too far apart? Okay. Oh, yeah. What was that, honey? Hey bud, who's that? Who's that guy? Is that about four? That looks like two inches. Yeah, it looks about right, huh? <laughs> and I can be a little aggressive with them, she said. So you're just trying to separate the onions right now? Yeah. She said they're, they can handle it, but all of those? Do you yeah. Need to wow. Good job. So I'm just kind of. So how many do you have there, hun? I don't know. Quite a few. Two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Quite a bit. All right. All the onions are planted. What's uh, next? I guess we can do the chives. More chives. Yes, but I mean, should we cut these 
because you just cut them and they grow, keep growing, right? Sure. We can cut them and maybe dry them out. Yeah, let's do it. Let's harvest those. Yeah. We can like save them as, as tribes. Yeah, or we could dry them and turn them into like onion powder. Or root or something here. No, Huddy, Huddy. Hudson. Huddy. Huddy. Don't eat the leaves. You don't eat the leaves. Oh, it's still like a bird. So how, what are you doing right there? I'm trying to drench this um, little potter because it is it is biodegradable, but it says to tear the bottom off. It just says tear off bottom and expose the roots. They grow pretty quickly, so lettuce you can plant in succession. So like we'll plant these and now maybe we'll plant a few more seeds. Because as these grow you harvest them, right? And then okay. you plant more and and cool. like they you know they you mature and then you yeah, you can just go to your garden and get more. Cool. Those are broccoli and uh, cabbage. And then what's this? That is cucumber. Oh, no, nope, that's a lie. Celery. So I bought a, this is like a bead organizer for like jewelry and stuff. It's really close. Um, my labels are not the prettiest. I just did this in a pinch, but. And down. Whoa, where'd you go? Are you rolling down the hill? Um, anyways, yeah, I was sick of having all those little bags of seeds that were like open and ripped open. So I'm like folding them and like shoving them into a box. Anyways, so I just poured them all into these little things. So we'll see how it goes. We're going to use this for the first time now. Plant some lettuce. Cutty's exploring. Oh, he's crawling. He can't do his army crawl out there. Whoa, I knew it. No army crawl for you on the grass. See, I buddy? knew it. I knew it that he could crawl. Hey, didn't I call that? Yeah, you did. Good job, Hudson. Look, we're capturing yeah, him Yeah, it's just camera. he doesn't need to crawl at home yeah, inside so because he's so fast. His... Hudson just, because we don't have carpet, we have that, the uh, hardwood, like, laminate floor. He can, he, he does a salamander crawl inside. He doesn't need to crawl, but... Turns out now when he can't salamander crawl, he can crawl pretty darn well. Well, we'll see how this goes. Um, I want to do three more on that side. Okay. I like these little seed things, this is great. Lettuce, chives, onions. So we've got romaine, chives, 
onions in this garden. Um, I can maybe fill in a bit more onion, uh, lettuce back there. What do you think? Good idea. Plant just... seeds quarter to half inch deep. How far apart? 18 to 24 inches apart. Right now, we are planting broccoli and cauliflower. And I'm spacing them about 18 inches apart.
Future Louis Armstrong over here. Why Louis Armstrong? Because he's playing the trumpet. Are you like want me to hold it something? Uh, sure. I guess I'll put my drink down. This is going up there. permaculture you can put it upside down right so it'll die and it'll rot just like the logs are going to use okay. right Well, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to be enough, but... Well, let's just mix in soil from the ditch or wherever else. You know? Alright. Shall we start cutting them open? Yeah. Did you grab your knife? I don't know. But the only thing is then you have to cut down those trees. What trees? Like the, the new trees that we have there. Why would you cut them down? Well, just because it's to get light. No, I'm... What? Build like another planter behind Back this there, one. there, yeah. Yeah, just so, uh, How would those apple trees Well, just there, not the apple there. trees, these trees here that grew. Oh, I don't think so. No? Okay. Well, what are your thoughts, hon? Well, my thoughts are that was a lot of fun. Absolutely. I just, I'm like imagining our whole, this whole area as like a beautiful garden, whether that's yeah. like flowers, vegetables, you know, like wouldn't it be nice? Like, you know, all these weeds and yeah. stuff, it'd be nice if it were like looked intentional. It'd yeah, be nice good. too if we just made a path to the road over right, here. Right, cool. Well, yeah, we'll just chip away at this stuff, but uh, what did we do today? We planted. So today yeah. we, yeah, we planted the, well, the seeds. And let's the, go over the last few days. What have we done? Like we 
We, uh, we got our fruit trees in, mm -hmm. um, we got rhubarb in, mm -hmm. and we also got everything into the planters on the front porch yep. with the trellises and the, uh, the slats there for it to drain, which is yep. cool. Um, completely weeded All the, the, the terraces gar yeah gardens yeah, yeah and then we also got uh, you know all we, of our um, our compost mix it with ash made the soil a little better it the soil yeah at the end of the added day. some triple mix tilled all that and then completely planted and then uh, those are full full yeah and hopefully full. our potato plan works out that'd be cool I know we'll see I hope fingers crossed and then we also got this a new bed a new raised bed in so we're gonna do corn up here and carrots, hopefully too, right? Corn, peas, or and beans? Peas. Yeah, beans. Yeah. I mean, snap peas would be really. I really like sugar snap peas, but mm -hmm. um, that would be nice. But um, carrots also would be mm -hmm. really nice. So yeah. you know, we'll do what we can. I mean, corn. Uh, who doesn't love corn? So right, right. Corn mm -hmm. would be our first priority up here, but mm -hmm. corn and beans are two of the three sisters. Mm -hmm. The third sister we have already planted on the back porch. Maybe so. we could do more squat. Maybe we could just do this full three You only three need sisters. like one or two in there. So one, one or two squash. Yeah, yeah. Because they're such big plants. Totally. So the the point is, is that the squash covers the the ground, so mm -hmm. no weeds grow up. Yeah. It's a vining plant. Okay. And then the beans, the corn grows, and the beans mm -hmm. use the corn as a, a mm -hmm. trellis. More so or less. So this will be our permaculture three sisters garden. Sure, yeah, yeah, I think we should do it. Yeah. Okay. I love Sweet. squash too, so the Me more too. squash the better. More squash the better. Cool. And the squash doesn't really squish, it's very firm. I know it is. You have to I think really it'd cook. be a squished squash with you a You gotta cook it squash. before you can squash it. Then you can squash it, yeah. yeah. Good, I'm glad we covered that. Why don't we do pumpkin? Oh that's fun. Instead of like well, squash. It's really still eat a squash. Pumpkin, though. Oh yeah, okay. That's still fun. a squash plant, right? Yeah, I mean. So I'm we down. can do pumpkin. We can we don't need to eat it. By mm. Halloween we can have our own pumpkins. Cool. Okay. Right? We can have our own pumpkin yeah. seeds. That and sounds stuff. fun. I'm in. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for the day. Want to have a barbecue? Oh, we're doing white fish. Fish, yeah. Yes. Winnipeg, Another like high Winnipeg five. Winnipeg white fish. High five in it up. Cool. I cool. love it. All right. look, at, look at all the tall grass over there. So we're going to have to do the corn from seed, though. Right? There's raspberry bushes over there, too. I know, they're Holy. everywhere. So we're gonna, are we going to do the corn from seed or are we going to buy corn? You can't really buy corn. No? No. So we have to do it from seed, eh? You need so many plants that it's like... Right. Yeah, we'll do it from seed. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Alright, honey. Alright. Let's do it. Break.